Shamrock. Miss LeBeau is my human. I would like to share another book with you. It's called, What If You Had Animal Hair? I have hair, but my hair is called fur. It keeps me warm when it's cold. What if one day when you woke up, the hair on your head wasn't yours? <gasps> what if overnight a wild animal's hair grew in instead? <gasps> Ooh. Today, we are going to again talk about hair growth. Check out one of your hairs on your head. Gently pull it free from your scalp. Ouch! Don't worry about losing this hair. Every day, you naturally lose as many as 100 hairs. <gasps> Ooh, that sounds like a lot. But don't worry. Each old hair that is lost is replaced by a new one. Take a close look at one single hair shaft. Use a magnifying glass. The shape of the shaft determines whether, as your hair grows, if it's straight, wavy, or curly. Straight hair has a round shaft. Wavy hair has an oval shaft. And curly hair has a flat shaft. Hmm. When my fur grows a little bit longer, it starts to become wavy. I like my wavy fur. <laughs> Thanks for listening. I will arise and go now and go to Inner's Free and a small cabin built there of clay and bottles made. Nine bean rows will I have there, a hive for the honey bee, and live alone in the bee-loud glade. And I shall have some peace there, for peace comes dropping slow, dropping from the veils of the morning to where the cricket sings. There midnight's all a glimmer, and noon a purple glow, and evening full of the linnet's wings. I will arise and go now, for always night and day, I hear lake water lapping with low sounds by the shore, while I stand on the roadway or on the pavement's grey, I hear it in the deep heart's core. Hi boys and girls, welcome to Animal Antics with Linda. Today's question is, who is the best dancer in your family? Harry, who's two, says his mommy. Peter, who's 10, said Sylvia. And Josie, who's five, said my brother Henry Lewis because I like a silly dance. Well, polar bears, we have our friend back again, are used to standing up on their hind legs. But you need to steady your balance when you do it in slippery shallows. Standing tall helps a bear scare off a threat, but also helps it to see farther across the Arctic landscape when looking for food or rivals. Polar bears also stand up to gain extra height before they smash down through the snow to find a baby seal in a hidden cave. At its full standing height of more than 10 feet, wow, the polar bear really is the world's biggest land-dwelling carnivore. I'm going to show you these polar bears because look at them, they're dancing, aren't they? Hmm? All right, so till next time, bye-bye. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. 
and we'll see you next time.